Greetings, Game Changers. This is Classic Games Redefined, and my name's Rich. And this is a addendum to prior work I did regarding the uh, the Universal Mutators video. So it's a balancing mechanism I have for the Marquesian method. And I just have two boards out here. I figured I'd just throw chess out here. Could have did checkers or something else. As you saw with the Marquesian method, what it was is that one person will set up both sides and the other person decides what they're going to play. What has been pointed out for that, that if you do that, the player setting up the board has a distinct disadvantage. Okay, I'm going to give you a tweak to this here, which should fairly universally and guarantee that at least it's going to be fair in nature and based upon skill. It's a very minor tweak. It's an addendum to what I did prior. And very simply, what you have here is this, and this is the reason why I have two boards. Okay, the way this works is that one player will set up both sides of the board, and then the other person can pick what side they want to play. After doing that, then they end up swapping, and the initial setup you have with the one player that played, let's say, played white, will then play black, and the other person played black plays white, and you end up, they play the game twice based upon that configuration. Well, it looks like I'm robbing maybe one player of a chance to set up the board. Well, I'm not, and this is the reason why we have the second board. After you've done the setting up of all the pieces there, you then play two more games. With the other person setting up the board the way they're going to play, and the other person picking a side, and then you switch. And then you do comparisons on who captured the most pieces, so on and so forth, winning the least amount of time, winning the least amount of moves, balance. So this way, you combined a version of the Marquesian method with an extra level. You play four games and come up with a comparison. That way, it ends up being really fair for everybody else. The only disadvantage you might have here is that, while doing this, is that somebody might see how the game plays and everything else, in which case what you can do here is that you could end up maybe both set them up simultaneously. You could have playing both games at the same time doing that, but anyhow, not a big deal. I'm just showing that it's possible to balance it, and then you're going to have to add some minutiae for scoring or something else regarding it. Just a little addendum I'm adding here to it to balance it. Again, you're playing four games, one person will set up both sides, and then the other person pick one side, and then you swap. And then the other person will set up the board, both sides, and then the other person plays, and then decides what to play, and then you swap sides, and you come up with a comparison to compare what side's better. I mean, which player did better. So anyhow, not a big deal. I just wanted this as an addendum. I think it's a value, so that's about it. So I do want to thank you for watching. May your die always roll five, and remember, don't hate the player, change the game.